What's going on everybody? It's your boy Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. If you'd like to stay tuned of what we doing here, turn on those post notification bells and sub up to the channel if you like. And if you want to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, you can follow me on my other socials as well. Now today we're taking a look at another sneaker. It released overseas at different merchants a while back. And finally, we got our U.S. release at the uh, Foot Locker brand stores and on the sneakers app. I'm talking about none other than the Air Jordan Retro 1 OG Heritage. This sneaker is an OG color blocking, but the sneaker never released. The closest we got to this OG color blocking the releasing was the Travel Scott Fragment 1s with the blue tool, there's a picture of it right there. And now we finally got this. This color blocking was designed back in 85, but it never released to the public until now. Here we go, the Air John 1 Heritage. You got a white on your color blocking and your mud guard. Some decent white leather material on your swoosh. You can see that leather, how detailed it is. It's very crinkle looking, tumble looking. Also the same type of leather going around the ankle collar. And you can see your black Jordan Wings logo is branded on. Also on your heel is that same type of leather as well. Very nice. Looking on your outsole, typical Air Jaw 1 outsole on that University rig going on there. Coming around, you got that black soft leather going around the ankle collar. And looking around the medial side of the sneaker, you have more of that good leather and University rig coming around from the ankle. Also on your swoosh and your heel. White leather on your color blocking and your laces. And on your mud guard, get a good look at that toe box. Y'all see how good that leather is on the toe box. Nice and soft and tumble. Comes with three pairs of laces. It comes factory lace with the black. And we also have a pair of university red and a pair of white. You have a white nylon tongue and you have a black woven patch with Nike Air and university red. The back side of the tongue, you can see that. We got the shoe tree on the inside of the shoe tree, die cut, die cut sock lining, excuse me. And looking at it, size seven, seven and a half on your cardboard shoe tree. And we're gonna look at the inside. There we go, white sock line. I'm sorry, white insert, University Red Nike Air branding. And you have a black sock line going around here, nice and soft. And let's see, can I get you guys that production date? The production date right here. October 20th of last year to December 2nd of last year. So just under two months of production with these. Now, I personally do not have a pair of these at the time of recording this video. I'm thinking about getting it and get some custom work done to it because I uh, I had the university, I'm sorry, I had a pair of black toes when they first came out of my size for some reason. <sighs> I traded them off. I don't have them anymore and thinking about getting that customization done. I have someone in mind to get it done, but if I find a pair of my size for retail, I think I'm gonna get that done. But uh, that's pretty much the shoe. However, it is sitting in a lot of stores. If you wish to get this shoe, put in that leg work, you can catch it at your local store. But leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this shoe. Let me know what you think of the video. And before I let you go, like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.